Hi beauties. Here we are today with one of our biggest video series on this channel. Um, I think a lot of people look forward to this, so I'm sad that it's coming a little bit late. But this is, of course, our Ipsy versus Ipsy. This is the standard bag. So mine showed up at the beginning of the month. Mine was here when my FabFitFun showed up, which was probably like December 8th or 9th. And my mom's literally didn't show up until this past week, which would probably be like the 18th. So we were just kind of waiting on that. If you guys are new, welcome. Hello. What we do with Ipsy versus Ipsy is I have a standard and a plus subscription. My mother has a standard and a plus subscription as well. Each month I take both of our standard bags and I compare the two and I pick out my favorite bag as a whole and then I pick out my five favorite products. Um, to create like the ideal bag based on the 10 products we received. That is what we're doing today. We do it with a plus as well, but that's already been posted. If you wanna find that, it's it's, it's out there. But we'll focus on the, the standard today. So yeah, let's do that. I customize, like I pick my customization product every month and I, I, I don't even remember what the options were. I have no idea. I don't remember what I chose. I feel like it's been like six years since I even thought about it. I don't know. I have no idea. I may, it may jog my remember my memory when I like opened up the bag, but I, I couldn't tell. It might, if somebody was like, your life depends on it, I'd be like, well, I guess I'm done. So yeah, so I have no idea, but I always start with mom's bag. Uh, I don't remember what she chose either. Cause if I don't remember what I chose, I sure don't remember what she chose, but uh, yeah, we're starting with mom's bag. This is it, let's go. So first things first, we'll talk about the bag. I don't love the design of it just cause I don't like, like I don't necessarily like the aesthetic of it, but I think it's actually really cute in person. Um, like when they posted online, I was kind of like meh, but it's like that kind of like Sherpa material. And one of my favorite sweaters is a Sherpa material sweater. So it's, it, that's the vibe that you get from it. Um, I actually like the plus bag better with like the drawstring. I think that looked a lot cuter in this, but it's not terrible. It just kind of looks like a lamb. Maybe that was the vibe they're going for. All right, moving along. I'm just gonna pull all her stuff out this time because I, I, yeah, I just feel like doing it. Okay, first thing I see here, this is from uh, Laura Makeup Labs, which we've gotten a couple palettes from. And this is a glossing lip gloss in the shade Mystic. And it is a really cute, like little glittery, very light shaded pink peachy pink, I would call it, lip gloss. I'm not sure this is necessarily my mom's aesthetic. She's a very neutral person. I mean, it's a lip gloss. So I don't think it's gonna be like that out there. Um, I just don't necessarily think it's something that she would pick, but it is a pretty decent size and a pretty good product. Uh, next thing, this might be what she chose. This is the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Airbrush Finish Press Powder from It Cosmetics. I'm personally a huge fan of It Cosmetics. Um, the, the Bye Bye Pores Press Powder is something that I buy regularly when it goes on sale like at Ulta. So yeah, definitely a good product. Um, their sample sizes are pretty generous too. I don't know if you guys, I don't like to open her products because it's not mine. But it's like an okay size. Like it's pretty decent. It's definitely like a, it's a, it's a shallow pan. Like you can see how far my finger goes down in it. So it definitely isn't like the biggest sample and it comes in like this little plastic thing. That being said, you're probably gonna get at least like enough use out of it to be able to take it on like a trip or something like that. So, and that's pretty much what like a nice deluxe sample should do for you. So definitely a good product because I really like that particular formula. So as an IT Cosmetics fan, I, I, I like to see that. Next we have a little Hannah lip balm from Beauty For Real. A lip balm I'm thinking is probably just like a, kind of like a chapstick, like maybe like a healing chapstick. I'm gonna be honest, just from seeing her bag, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm, my mom's probably not gonna be thrilled with this one. She doesn't really like, like she doesn't really focus on lip products and so getting two lip products and I think she got like the, a lot of lip product choices for her plus as well. So I think she's gonna be kind of disappointed with this one. The next thing we have is a Grace and Stella Lavender Lotion. So this is a body lotion. Um, I can already tell you my mom's gonna hate this bag. I'm not really a big fan of this bag either. It's just not really things that she would ever put on her customization list. I mean, I understand with it being winter time, I always do get very chapped skin. So I understand like the need for, or the, the, the under, I understand like the, the reasoning behind putting in a, a body lotion. I just know she's not gonna like it. I know she's probably not gonna like the fact that she got two lip products. Um, the It Cosmetics thing is definitely gonna be her favorite product. Um, and then her final thing is the Wave and Curl Rich Defining Cream to enhance all natural textures. Funny enough, I think they accidentally threw one of these into my plus. So I just randomly received one of these in my plus. Um, but definitely I could tell it was like definitely something for the, stan the standard bag. And she got one as well. I actually am kind of jazzed about trying this uh, product because I've been doing some different things with my hair to try and like help bring out my natural waviness. And so I think this would be a cool product. And I think she'll actually like it as well. 
Um, so honestly, from her bag, I think the, the hair treatment and the Bye Bye pores from it are gonna be her favorites. I'm gonna be honest, I just don't think she's gonna really like this bag. So I have a little bit more hopes for mine that it's gonna be a little bit better. Yeah, I'm gonna be nice and just move on. All right, moving on to mine. Same little bag. And I, I don't wanna be mean about the bag. The bag is cute. It's not that it's ugly. It's just, I can't help but look at it. I like look at it and I just see a lamb. I'm like, I, I, I feel bad. I don't know why. It's not a real lamb, but I just look at it and I'm like, oh. It's a lamb. I did choose a brush. I knew it. I knew I would remember. All right, so I chose a brush. And this is the brush. This is the tapered highlighter brush. Really pretty, like it a lot. I, it feels like a great brush. I like getting brushes. I am just do, I like getting brushes. I like getting eyeshadow brushes. I like getting face brushes. Highlight brushes, really, I'm into them. So yeah, I got that to have like it as a backup because um, I have a highlight brush currently that I really love. Um, but a super nice brush and I'm very jazzed about that. Just based on the initial like grabbing of the products, I think my bag is better um, in my opinion, but I do wanna like obviously deep dig into it and see. I also got an organic lip balm. This is the Lasting Smiles Peppermint Cream Lip Balm. I'm gonna go ahead and open mine. Oh, it does, it smells like peppermint. Personally, I'm gonna say normally I would not like this product. Um, normally I'd be, or I wouldn't hate it, but I'd just be like whatever about it. I'm actually excited about it. It smells really nice. It definitely gives me like holiday season vibes. And because of the cold weather, I do actually feel like having a, a nice little lip balm that I can just go to is necessary. And I always lose mine. So like having an extra one is always nice. So yeah, I'm actually pretty, I'm pretty, I wouldn't want to say I'm excited about that product, but I'm definitely okay. I will say, we'll, we'll verge on like happy. We'll verge on happy to receive that product. I like that product. That's what I'm trying to go with. This product is actually really cute. I'm really excited about this one. This is a nice little eyeshadow in the shade Sunkissed from Mayel, I think is the name of the brand. Really love the packaging, like a super cute, it is plastic, but it, it gives you like that faux metal finish. So it's super lightweight, but it's super cute. Really nice, just like very basic brown shade. Could be used as like a crease shade or a blending shade, depending on how dark your eyeshadow look is that day. I really like it though. Nice little individual like wrapped where you can take it with you on trips. I like it, I'm a fan. Uh, next thing we have is actually something I haven't seen for a, in a hot minute. We used to get stuff from the bomb all the time. This is the Will Powder Blush. But I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna use this as a blush, I'm gonna use it as a highlighter, cause like, look at that, that looks like a highlighter, right? Like, that's, that's a highlighter in my opinion. But really pretty, I'll go ahead and swatch it since it's mine. I'm gonna have to swatch it like on my inside wrist though, cause I've been doing a lot of videos and, oh yeah, that's definitely a highlighter, come on guys. See, if you can't see it, then it's definitely not a blush. That's the, that's just proving my point more. Okay, I lied. I lied. <laughs> I remember what I chose. I chose this. It was the Ilmasqua Skin Base Foundation. And I chose this because I always love when they do things like give you foundation samples. I think that personally is a very hard thing to do with something that's not like perfectly customized because I think finding foundations that match skin tones is very is a very tricky uh area. So I always am like, sure, I'll try it. And I've actually found some foundations I really like doing that. So I like Ilma Squaw's primers because that's what I've used so far. So I was like, let's try their foundation as well. So this is what I chose. This was the other thing I was going back and forth between though was this brush. So the fact that I got it actually, I don't know what to say. My whole bag I like better than my mom's. I would, it's very simple for me this month. Um, normally there might be some back and forth. Um, my bag is the winner and I would choose every one of my bag products over my mom's. There's nothing from my my mom's bag that I like. I feel really bad saying that. I know that's really critical. Um, and some people may disagree. I know some people love getting lotions and stuff like that. I think it's an absolute waste for me. And I think it's pretty much a waste for her too. I think this is one of those months she could have skipped and she wouldn't miss any of these products or the bag, if I'm being honest. So I really like my bag and I really don't like hers. It'd be like that sometimes. So yeah, uh, I would love to know what you guys got in your bags. I always love with the Ipsy's people talking about what they got, if they were happy with it. Um, now that Plus has changed, especially with standards, I think that's really where you see Ipsy taking like, their, they have to take the initiative and culminate a bag all for you. Whereas like now with the way Plus goes, you pick your three of your products. I mean, they give you like choices, but you get to choose and you have some sort of autonomy over it. So. Yeah, definitely would love to know what you guys got. If you were happy with it, if you were sad about it, if you were disappointed, if you were thrilled. Other than that, uh, oh, oh yeah. 
Let me, let me pitch myself. Like the video, that helps us a ton. It's Christmas, be giving. Give us a thumbs up, that'd be awesome. And uh, if you really like us, subscribe, because we'd love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. We're always doing stuff like this and other stuff and whatever we feel like, whatever, whatever we feel like. That's what we do, we just do whatever we feel like. It's fun, it's great, good times. Anyway, now, I hope you guys are all safe and healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.